Hey everyone! Today, I'll review the USS New Hampshire, which is the latest legendary battleship in the game. As usual, we'll be going over its stats, armaments, and how it performs, and at the end, I'll give my opinion on whether it's worth getting or not. Here are the fully upgraded stats of the ship. The stats of the ship is pretty decent for a battleship. It has slightly better durability than the RF Moscow. Its speed is nearly as good as the USS Missouri. Its maneuverability is higher compared to all of the other battleships. Lastly, its sonar and radar range is the same as the USS Missouri, which are average ranges for a battleship. Here are the armaments of the ship. The ship is equipped with two missiles, two cannons, two grenade launchers, four autocannons, a whopping nine air defenses, and two helicopters. The cannon of the ship, which is the MK-3741, is locked onto the ship and has a maximum damage of 17,550, a maximum range of 17.3 kilometers, and a maximum reloading time of 10.85 seconds. This cannon is much better than that of the Yamato as it's a bit more powerful, more accurate, and has faster projectile speed. The ship does only carry two such cannons, but it offsets this by having a reloading time of 11 seconds, which is faster than that of the main cannons on both the Missouri and Yamato. The autocannon of the ship, which is the hammer, is also locked onto the ship and has a maximum damage of 1,560, a maximum range of 6.5 kilometers, and a maximum reloading time of 4.55 seconds. This autocannon doesn't possess any special qualities, but it is pretty average, it's comparable to the Marlin, an epic railgun autocannon that you can easily purchase from the shop using in-game dollars. The ship has two air defenses that are locked onto the ship, the first air defense is the THAAD, an anti-air missile that has a maximum damage of 1,560, a maximum range of 3.5 kilometers, and a maximum reloading time of 4.55 seconds. This anti-air missile is more powerful compared to the ones we've seen on the FGS F-127, but they have the same projectile speed, which is terribly slow, and it has a long reloading time. The second air defense is the RIM-116C, an anti-air weapon that has a maximum damage of 1,105, a maximum range of 3.0 kilometers, and a maximum reloading time of 3.15 seconds. This anti-air weapon is slightly weaker than the HHQ-10, but has slightly more projectile speed. The helicopter of the ship, which is the Cougar, is also locked onto the ship, and has a maximum durability of 6,500, a maximum speed of 60.6 .6 knots, a maximum maneuverability of 52, a maximum radar range of 8 kilometers, and a maximum sonar range of 1.60 kilometers. This helicopter is not very reliable due to its weak and slow nature. However, the ship carries two of these helicopters, and each one is equipped with a machine gun that can effectively target aircraft, which helps mitigate the overall unreliability of the helicopter to some extent. The ship's firepower is just what you'd anticipate from a battleship, it's great and devastating, but when compared to other battleships, it falls short due to having fewer weapons. Nevertheless, the ship's excellent cannons make up for this shortfall. They possess excellent power, great accuracy, and a good projectile speed, enabling the ship's user to effectively target and strike enemies. As for its anti-submarine capability, it's not very impressive but it can deal damage to underwater targets with its grenade launcher. However, once you equip the ship with a grenade launcher that can't hit underwater targets, you'll lose its anti-submarine capability since the grenade launcher is the only weapon of the ship that can be used against underwater targets. You can equip the ship with an anti-submarine missile if you have one, but doing so may hinder the ship's effectiveness to fight a surface ship. The survivability of this ship is pretty good for its class. It can endure tough battles like every other battleship since it has great durability and great air defenses. It can also enter and escape battles faster than most of the battleships in the game, thanks to its good speed. Furthermore, the ship's unique hull design causes some cannon projectiles to bounce, reducing the amount of HP your opponents can take. However, cannons with bigger projectiles will be less likely to bounce. Though it may not be significant, I believe it's still worth mentioning since it contributes to the survivability of the ship. The main issue with its survivability is its maneuverability. Despite having a higher maneuverability value compared to other battleships, the difference is minimal when actually using it in battle. This is because the ship's weight hampers its maneuverability, making it only slightly better than other battleships in practice. Like all the other battleships in the game, the ship is best at mid and close range combat, 
and it's difficult to use it in long-range combat. However, it's less difficult when compared to other battleships, not only because of having missiles, which, by the way, is the weapon of the ship that I find ridiculous because it only carries a few missiles, even though it has a lot of missile silos, but due to the advantages of the ship's cannon giving you more chance of effectively harming your opponents in that range. This doesn't mean you don't need to have a good aim, it will still require you to have a good aim, especially since there's a delay when firing its cannons. Also, keep in mind that the cannons of the ship are quite far from the bow of the ship. Doing a PK boo attack using this ship is a bad idea as you're allowing your enemy to inflict damage first by exposing a huge part of the ship, since the ship can't release a decent chunk of its firepower without doing it. If you're gonna attack at the rear of the ship, it will be much worse as you'll be revealing the ship's superstructure, which is easier to hit than just the ship's hull. It may not be a problem if your opponents have weaker firepower and less HP, but it will certainly be a problem if they have great firepower and a lot of HP. So it's quite necessary for this ship to attack opponents together with your teammates. Here are the advantages and disadvantages of the ship. Overall, this battleship is excellent, it offers a more enjoyable experience compared to certain other battleships in the game, and it has impressive qualities that make it highly capable of dominating matches. It does have a decent amount of disadvantages as well, but it's manageable and I believe its disadvantages are better than what some other battleships have. For avid battleship users, it's definitely worth considering. However, it's important to note that acquiring this battleship can be difficult as it is currently only available for purchase with real money at a high price. Fortunately, it is currently available at a discounted price as part of an ongoing event. By completing the event pass, you can purchase the ship at a more affordable price. If you take advantage of the discount, I certainly believe it will be a worthwhile investment, but I'm not sure if I can say the same if you're going to purchase it at its original price, so I'll leave the decision up to you guys on that matter. Now, I'll leave you guys a video of the gameplay of the ship for you guys to see how it performs in battle, and that'll be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys liked this video, and if you all did, please leave a like and subscribe to support me, thank you so much for watching. Helicopter and fly to bearing 160.